Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Triton D8 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. This training module covers viewing data in PID Graph View. A numeric view of parameter IDs, or PID data, will not always reveal problems or show you relationships between PIDs. Graphing relationships between data parameters gives you a view of performance over time. Data graphing can show momentary failures and data trends over time. The view icon switches the live data viewing mode between a numeric view and a graphing display. From one to four graphs can be displayed on the screen. The graph provides a large number of data points plotted so you can compare events over time. Multiple graphs allow you to view relationships between components. Values to the left of each graph show the current, maximum, and minimum value of captured data. Minimum and maximum values are stored even after the data has scrolled off the screen. You can choose data parameters you want to see together on one screen. Just highlight any parameter and select the lock icon on the top of the screen to lock it. Scroll down and lock to select additional parameters. This enables you to see relationships between data parameters. Simply select the lock icon again to unlock a parameter. Up to three data PIDs can be locked at one time. You can scroll through the data below while the locked PIDs stay on top. The zoom icon incrementally increases and decreases the scale of the data being displayed. Tap the zoom icon and select a plus level to zoom in for more detail. Select a minus level to zoom out and see more detail. The PID trigger is a valuable tool to automatically capture data when a parameter value is outside of normal range. The set trigger command sets upper and lower values to start recording a data movie when the signal crosses the set value. This is similar to an OBD2 freeze frame. To set a trigger, select the data parameter you want to use, then tap the trigger icon and select Set Trigger from the drop-down menu. Tap the plus and minus buttons on the toolbar, or use the up and down arrow buttons to position the upper trigger line to the desired level. Tap the check mark on the toolbar, or press the yes button to accept the value. The lower trigger level line will appear on the graph. Position the line to the desired level. Tap the check mark on the toolbar to accept the lower trigger value. The trigger points will appear as horizontal lines across the designated parameter graph. Triggers can be set on up to three parameters at once. To arm the triggers, tap the PID trigger icon on the toolbar and select Arm Triggers from the drop-down menu. Purple lines indicate triggers have been armed. Once the trigger point is passed, the tool will beep and the flag will turn red, indicating that the PID has exceeded the parameters that were set. A red line appears at the point on the graph where the trigger event occurred. The tool will record additional data, then save it. A vertical gray cursor line is displayed on all PIDs to mark where the data was paused and the file was saved. The recorded data movie is automatically saved. Tap the Previous Vehicles and Data icon on the home screen and then select View Save Data to review the movie. Select the movie file you wish to view. Use the scroll buttons to scroll forward or back through the collected data. The Snap-on Cloud should be your first step to viewing images and pre and post scan reports which can then be moved to ShopStream Connect. Now here we're talking about saved data recordings. 
Those don't upload to the Snap-on Cloud. Saved recordings can also be reviewed in ShopStream Connect, a free computer software which is available at this website. Select Clear All Triggers to clear the trigger values. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.